What's the best car stereo to buy in 2021? With features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, technology that mirrors your phone wirelessly, built-in sound processors and equalizers that allow for time alignment and let you tune your system with precision. Radios that even tie into your car's OBD2 that tap into the vehicle's information center. And with radios that dominate your car's dash with up to 11 inch screens. With all this to choose from, what is the best radio to purchase in 2021? It's whatever you can get your hands on. If you haven't noticed, there's a shortage in car stereos in the marketplace. And I wanted to address this issue because we've gotten questions on when we're getting certain radios back in stock. And if you've been shopping online or you took a trip to a local car stereo shop, you may have noticed that many radios are on back order, especially if you're looking for radios with the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto feature. Whether you're looking on Amazon or another car stereo store, they're out of stock, low on stock, or have jacked up the price way above the suggested retail price. And the way it looks, things may get worse before they get better. But on the bright side, there are some radios that are available, and we'll give you our top five radios that are more readily available here in a few minutes. But let's talk about why a lot of head units are in short supply. Now there are several reasons why this is the case, but while being in the middle of a global pandemic, it's not the main factor for the shortage, but it's definitely one of them. The first major factor has to do with the chips that are used in making these car stereos. Now late October of 2020, the AKM chip factory located in Japan that is responsible for producing many of the chips found in these car stereos had a fire that lasted three days. And when it was done, it pretty much destroyed that factory. The factory was also responsible for providing chips to the professional and home audio industry, as well as some home appliances. Now manufacturers of those products scramble to find other factories to get chips from. Now you can't just show up at the doorsteps of a chip manufacturer and ask for 10,000 chips. They have to meet the parameters of what they're going into. And while these chip manufacturers retool to accommodate for the audio products, another chip factory had a fire. This took place on March 19th, 2021 at the Renaissance factory, also in Japan. This factory doesn't provide chips to the audio industry, but it does to larger industries such as auto manufacturing. And they service companies like Toyota, Nissan, and others. Now the auto industry also has to figure out where it's gonna get its chips from. So they scramble to get chips made from the same manufacturers as the audio industry. And as you can imagine, these chip factories are overwhelmed with demand. On top of that, you have major backups in ports like Long Beach and now Oakland, where ships are sitting on the water for up to four weeks. Now that's because of the global pandemic. But there's also a rumor that a few car stereo manufacturers lost containers out in sea. The story just keeps getting better and better. And not only that, the demand is at an all time high. So with demand high and supply low, no wonder pricing has gone up for these radios. But I am optimistic that the head unit issue will be resolved. There are major multinational corporations working diligently trying to figure this thing out in order to get these products back to the market for you to buy. Plus you have our industry, which has been around since the 1970s, and many people have counted out the car stereo business for years, claiming it's dying and demand will soon dry up. But I've been hearing that for years, and we're still going strong. As long as we have audio and auto enthusiasts like you, we're not going anywhere. So collectively, I'm positive this thing will work itself out. In the meantime, these are our top picks for radios that are most available currently. Now note, some of these radios would have made the list despite the shortage, but there are a few that wouldn't have because of it. Now we're gonna break this down in a couple different categories, starting with best budget radio. Now that's the Jensen Car 68. Now to be honest with you, this surprised me with the build quality and seems pretty good. It has wired CarPlay and Android Auto, built-in Bluetooth with a separate mic. Now most budget radios have the mic built into the face and don't really work well. Separate mics are always better. Eight band equalizer, 16 watts times four, and three sets of four volt preouts. And it has a 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen. 
Not bad for only $229-ish. Next, best radio with no CarPlay or Android Auto features. Kenwood's DDX376BT with a 6.2 inch capacitive touchscreen, also CD and DVD player. Before CarPlay, the Kenwood DDX3 series was our number one selling radio. Now, this still offers a lot of good desirable features like Bluetooth, phone calls, and music. Now that also includes the ability to control apps like Spotify, Pandora, and iHeartRadio wirelessly. 13-band equalizer with time alignment and two-way crossover networks along the three 4-volt RCA preouts. iData Link compatible, Maestro RR required, steering wheel control compatible, additional steering wheel adapter required, and Sirius XM compatible with the SXV300 required. All in all, a good, solid, reliable radio for under $300. Next, best wired CarPlay and Android Auto, Sony's XAV-AX5500. This radio has a 6.9 inch capacitive touchscreen, 10 band equalizer, and 20 watts times four RMS. Sirius and steering wheel control compatible, and as mentioned, wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto. Six channel, five volt pre-out, and a rear USB input. Now this radio also has web link that allows apps like YouTube to stream through. And finally, a three year warranty. Most radios will only give you a one year warranty. Now this radio sells for just under $500. Next, best wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. JVC's KW-M865BW. Now this radio is our top choice at this price level and it's loaded with great features. In addition to the wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, it also has wireless mirroring for Android, built-in Bluetooth for audio and phone calls, 13-band equalizer, time alignment, 5-volt pre-outs, front, rear, and sub, and selectable crossovers. 22 watts times four RMS, four camera inputs, steering wheel controls, and Maestro RR compatible. And this radio has a 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen. Now this radio was under $600, but because of the shortage, I've seen this radio as high as $750 on some sites. And finally, the best floating panel radio, JVC's KW-Z1000W. If you follow us, you know that we've done a couple videos on this unit recently. And if you wanna see this thing in action, I suggest you check out the video in which we showcased it. But we'll do a quick overview on what this awesome radio has to offer. First off, a 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen monitor both wired and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wireless Android mirroring and wired iPhone mirroring through an app or simply wire this through the head unit's HDMI input to mirror. Six channel, five volt pre-out, built-in Bluetooth for audio and phone calls, Sirius XM, steering wheel control, and iDataLink Maestro compatible, both graphic and parametric equalizers, selectable two-way or three-way networking, time alignment, four camera inputs, live wallpaper, and this really cool virtual volume knob. This unit is still holding strong at its $1,199 price. We haven't seen a price hike on these units because of the current situation, but you never know. So if you're considering this radio, act fast before something changes. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up. Now, hopefully you found this information useful and we're optimistic about this situation that it'll resolve itself here in the near future. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching. Thank you.